if a guy is taking exogenous testosterone, and let's just say he's been on it now for a few months, is he able to create sperm? 95% chance he's not. Wow. While he's on it. All right. So now let's talk about the guy who comes to see you. He's been on exogenous testosterone for three years. Tell me what his sperm analysis looks like. Presumably there are no sperm. I would bet 95% confidence that he would have no sperm in his semen. Okay. At so 200 you, milligrams a week. So what are you telling him now? How are you going to solve this problem? The recovery is usually possible in young men, but it depends on how much they took, how long they took it, and how they took it. If they do it like a cycling effort, that's the best, right? So if you cycle steroids, you recover the pituitary, you get back to normal, and then you hit it again. That's actually quite smart. Constant use is not constant use for longevity or whatever is not a good idea for fertility. So that's going to be much more suppressive. Injections are worse than orals or any gels. 